to recap, we field surveyed last year, July 1st. And there's the field survey on 1114 of November last year. We scanned first with Faro, then with Leica, the same site, and both <clears throat> registered scans were under 0 0.03 as reported by Faro Scene software and Leica Cyclone software. Uh, but their origins were close to zero, or right here for Leica. And what we want to do is survey the site, check our closure, and then shoot from our closed traverse the control points that we picked in the point clouds to register from the relative registered accuracy of the scans to the state plane data and preferably we want to use a total station and not GPS as the total station will be a lot more accurate but we did start with GPS coordinates here OPIST and an RTK RTN real-time network solution using TopNet for the backside azimuth but we didn't use the actual coordinates we just started here use the backside azimuth and and then traverse these four points came back to one and and then after we adjusted this we shot the side shots where they were the actual control points that we picked in the registered point clouds so now let's switch to model space and let's switch back to survey let's go to survey drop down and do edit process raw data There's the file that we want to open. There's the traverse information. You can see we started with a known coordinate and we put in a backside azimuth <clears throat> and no backside coordinates and started our traverse around. So let's first do process no adjust. Um, I'm going to turn off calculate state plane at this time and we're just going to use the, actually let's just do use last none for now and calculate elevations yes so I've turned off everything and we're just going to do a rough closure one is the starting point and we're gonna pick OK the last side shot was 5006 but we actually want to close six and one are the same closing point and we come down we have a closure of one in 68,000 you can see that the horizontal distance error is a little under a hundredth that's pretty good and uh, the vertical not so good we're about three hundredths off okay now let's exit out and let's actually do a compass closure and angle balance now in this case I actually set up on six backside at five which was one uh, point number two and, and one but then I traversed to three and called it seven so I actually traversed or duplicated this traverse again so I could shoot these two side shots so I'm going to close this time to point number three in my traverse and that will be point number seven the angle balance I'll check the azimuth from six to seven from one to three so let's go compass adjustment the closing reference point is not going to be one this time we're going to call it three and I'm going to tell it to average everything uh, and for reciprocals because I did do direct and reverse I'm going to tell it to average the elevation and the distance and calculate elevations on vertical error adjustment I'm going to say least squares applying a balance yes and just to show you that we can calculate a combined scale factor for each measurement which is very handy on long linear traverses like right-of-ways and so forth on roads um, we are going to calculate the combined scale factor that is for the elevation and for the zone that we're in and notice here this is new uh, we can now apply the z elevation using the geoid 18 supplied by ngs used to be uh, before november we only had the geoid 12b was the most current but in november of last year 2019 the usa geoid 18 was supplied by ngs and we have it in carlson survey under edit process raw data it's also in our data collectors uh, software serve ce for the handheld windows mobile 6 platform and windows 10 platform the tablet base serve pc so it's also in our office software and i'm going to pick ok and it says starting point is one that's still correct but we're going to be ending to seven which is right here where point number three is going to be and now it says what's the angle balance and i said it was going to be six to seven and we're going to check the azimuth from six to seven from one to three 
Uh, I'm not happy that it's 51 seconds off, but uh, we're going to just go ahead and proceed. All right, it is done. Oh, you know why it's, it happened very quickly is I forgot to. This is one routine where you do have to be connected to the web because we are accessing our the file. Geo 18 is rather large, so I'm going to cancel this and do it again. Everything is preset. Well, remember the point number, and the reference closing point is three in this case. State plane PA South USA Geo 18. Calculate combined scale factor and. I'm going to just go ahead and pick, and we're going to do least squares for the vertical adjustment. I could do linear interpolated, so the shorter legs would be uh, less, and the longer legs would be adjusted more. But we're going to just do least squares and pick OK. And it says 1, and that is to 7. There is 6 to 7. And this is 1 to 3, 51 seconds off, and... Oh, that was awfully off very quick, but this time it worked. You can see there's the combined scale factor. I'm very close to the ellipsoid, so you can see the scale factor is virtually 1. And after angle balance, you can see that the closure is slightly improved. 1 in 74,000. Horizontal is off by 0.01, and a slight change in the vertical, and that's 200s. And if I scroll down, you can see that there's the adjusted uh, least squares adjustment of the elevations. So right now 7 and 3 should be similar. Okay, and we're going to pick OK. Now I'm going to exit out and it will prompt me to save coordinate changes. I'll say yes. Now clearly this data is unadjusted, so <clears throat> if you do want to do a quick check of what unadjusted and adjusted looks like, we'll go to compare points and we will compare the coordinate file to the drawing here. Uh, now for precision, you probably want to go down to four and elevation, four places to see any slight differences. And if you want to report all differences, if even if they're identical, put in zero for horizontal tolerance and vertical tolerance. Report coordinates, uh, I'll do that too. And we'll pick okay. And then down here at select objects, make sure you're in model space if you're in a layout. I'm gonna grab this data. And you can see that uh, there's slight changes they're all in hundredth for the horizontal. Uh, vertical, the actual adjustments are minuscule. And I'm going to pick OK, exit, and E for race, and R for remove. All right. And let's go back and plot the points. I'll do locate points. And we'll use that symbol there. And this will be trav. Traverse points, draw range. And this will be one through seven. There we go. And there they are. And what I want to do is come up to points. And pick this point here. That will be five, six, seven. And now we're going to go back to edit process raw data, load that same file. And if you go down here and you draw traverse side shot lines, click OK. And now we're going to cancel out. Save so coordinate file changes, there's nothing to change. There is the data and the other points. I'm going to come up here and change the symbol. Draw range. Well, we're going to select here. And I think I want to use uh, side shots. Draw range. And we know we don't want to include 7, so I'll do 8 hyphen 10,000, which is more than. And last but not least, I'll go up here to uh, I'll pick the GIS module, and I'm going to fly this site and add the aerial from the drone later. But you can go to place Google image in the GIS module, and we'll go ahead and place a little image in here. And I'm going to put this in this directory, and we'll just type GE1 for Google Earth. And it says by screen, we'll go ahead and do... 
Now we're going to pick here and pick right there. And imagery is high resolution coming from Google Earth. And there you have it. And that is correct. Right there, you can see that. Uh, I'll just pan down a little bit here. And it's quite wooded, but you can see that uh, this is a monument right here. I'll just grab this guy here, and this is a prop. Prop mon that was found. And I'll just leave that there. And you can see that I picked a point on the side of the barn on this wall over here on this fence, uh, on this stone wall here, on the culvert wall over here, and at the end of this wall, and on the patio. And then I uh, traverse up here, and I shot two other control points that I picked in the scan. Um, so uh, this actually was a monument that I found. Here, I'll come up here, and this was iron pin found. Iron pin found, and we'll just leave that there. But this point right here was a point that I found in the scan. So uh, we will be using these ten points. I think there's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten points that were picked in the scans and use those points to register them to the control that we shot in the field using the closed traverse points that adjusted out to about one hundredths horizontally and two and a half hundredths vertically. That ends this movie and this step, and that is adjusting a field traverse and shooting in the control points in state plane that were picked on the target list registered scans.